my friends. It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I wanted to show you a decorated uh, journal that I've been working on. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing. I'm just going to describe what I did. And I want to show you how I attach these ribbons. So let's get started. First I need to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing with you here. Okay, now this begins with a pressed petals journal. This is a Stampin' Up! product in the 2019-2020 annual catalog. And it is really a neat product. Um, let's see, did I have it upside down or right? Okay, now it's right side up. It's a spiral bound journal with 24 sheets in it for each of six different designs. And you can see how pretty each of the sheets are. It's a little note-taking journal. It could be a garden journal if you are a gardener. Um, it could be a prayer journal. It could be a little thought journal. Um, and it's just adorable. It has what they call a debossed cover. In other words, it has some pr the images of pressed flowers, not embossed where they stick up, but debossed where they're down in a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on the video. But I'm going to decorate the cover. Um, the overall, the cover is four and three quarters by five and a half, and um, so it's not it's not large. It's perfect to fit in a purse or a bag or a travel bag or a diaper bag. It's I think it's a great size, and I really like journals. I don't know about you. So I'll show you what I've done. I have decorated my journal with just a bunch of stuff that I, products that I had around, new some new products from Stampin' Up. And I put this cute little bow on. I love seam binding ribbon. And this is some new Crushed Curry crinkled seam binding ribbon. And I really, I love using it because I think it's kind of vintage and fun. So I just had a great time. And I did some fun things on the inside of my journal. Um, the journal itself is part of a, a larger suite of products called the, um, I believe it's called the Pressed Petals Suite. And this is some of the designer series paper from that. And I just made this cute little envelope with some of that uh, designer series paper using our envelope punch board. And I stuck some, um, these are some little trinkets from the Bird Ballad, Ballad Suite currently. And I put those each one on with a little glue dot, nothing major. Tied a piece of linen thread around one, and then you can wrap it. And inside, I just put um, a little piece of Rococo Rose cardstock with a sentiment, just a note. And I'm, I know you're going to want to know where that's from, and I'll put it underneath the video. Sometimes I just grab different sentiments from different uh, stamp sets. So I'll, I'll show that to you. I'll put it down below in a note. And this is the reverse side of the Pretty Designer Series paper. And then when you're done, you can just wrap that. When you're done making your note or reading your note, you can just wrap it right around just like that. Isn't that cute? And then on the inside back cover, I put one of our uh, three by three envelopes that you can purchase from Stampin' Up. I decorated it with a little uh, ro Rococo rose trimmed piece of ribbon. And I'm using the beautiful Friendship stamp set for the flowers. And so that was a flower and the leaves from that set. And then I just fussy cut them. And then inside, I did something fun that I've been wanting to do. I just get these ideas when I see other people's <laughs> projects and I want to copy little bits of them. So this is one of our um, doilies. And I glued it onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock and, and fussy cut around there so... There was white below, and then I just stamped with the same stamp from the Beautiful Friendship stamp and the leaves, and I wanted to cover the center, so I just stuck a little hello on there and punched it out with the scallop, a little small scallop circle punch that we have. And everything on this page is kind of done in, these colors are Melon Mambo and Granny Apple Green. So 
that's as far as I've gotten on my decorated journal. You can you can just stick that like that. But what I wanted to show you today is how to get the ribbon on. I thought I would just use this time to show you how to do that. Now, the cover of the Pressed Petals journal is four, and, as I mentioned, is four and three quarters by five and a half. So I cut a sheet here from the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. It's beautiful. And I cut it, I cut this piece at four and a quarter by five and a half. So it just, this is, I think those are the right measurements. Um, sometimes I'm not the best with numbers. Um, but in any event, five and a half is this length. I wanted it to be the same length and just a little bit in from this from the spiral binding. And what I did is I took some tear and tape and I put it down on the inside of the cover where I wanted my ribbon to be attached, peeled off the top, and then I put my ribbon on top of it. And this is about a 12 inch piece of the crinkled seam binding. So you're going to put about an inch and a half in you of the ribbon in and adhere it to the inside cover and then I put my piece of Garden Lane Designer Series paper I adhered that over the ribbon using multi-purpose liquid glue and you just use small dots and then I decorated it from then that upward but that tear and tape really holds that ribbon in there and you can see on the back I've put the ribbon inside the back cover between the Garden Lane designer series paper and the inside back cover. Now on the front, what I've done is I inserted the, the ribbon underneath a piece, another piece of Garden Lane designer series paper that I have angled here. And then this is a piece of um, the in color designer series paper. Um, and I'll have all these things linked for you below. And I just tucked my ribbon in there in the same manner. I put a piece of the tear and tape on top of this piece of paper, but back a little. I just put a piece of the tear and tape. I placed my ribbon right on top of it to adhere it. And then I put my other angled piece of garden lane paper on it like that using the multipurpose glue. Put this piece of designer series paper on this way using the multi-purpose glue. And then you can just decorate to your heart's content, but that gives you the basis of how you cover it. And here I put a little piece of lace, and you can see I've also covered the inside like I did the back, the inside of the back cover with the same Garden Lane designer series paper. And prior to putting this on, I, I had glued a little bit of our scallop lace ribbon in there. So there's so many different things you can do to, to these darling pressed petals journals, I just wanted to give you a little heads up on how you can at least do the basic, the basics and add a ribbon. So thank you for stopping by today. I'll just tie this up to finish it. I hope you will get some of these journals. I'm planning on getting some of them. I might give them for Christmas gifts. I'm thinking of possibly uh, decorating a few for my different team members. So there are a lot of things you can do with it, and I'm sure I'll be decorating them many different ways. This is just what I had in my mind to do today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel, and um, also pop over to my blog, prettypapercards.com. That's where I that's where I post every day, and most of what I do is based over there. That's kind of my home base. So I look forward to seeing you over there. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.